Hi, my name is Chad Ramey, if you don't already know me. Um, sorry for the poor quality of this video and uh, probably the terrible lighting, but um, I'm just going to do a quick video to uh, state that I'm getting neutrons from my IEC reactor here. So um, these conditions are not very likely for what most people try to have when they're running their reactors, but just for my demonstration purposes tonight and to say that I'm getting neutrons, I'm going to record this for you and show you what I have right now. Um, this is the voltage meter of my power supply, and as you can see, we're running at 10 kilovolts. Um, my pressure is really, really high. We're actually in um, the 63 micron range, so we're in we're in 60 microns. But um, what I'll show you right now is my neutron detector, and um, I know it's hard to believe, but I was uh, around zero a few seconds ago. Um, I'll reset the count and. Uh, you can watch it rise. It seems to be getting out of the mode that it was in earlier, but um, you can still see that we've got some fluctuations in how fast the um, neutron rates are, and it's really slow because of the pressure that I'm at right now. Um, what I'm going to do is reach around and show you a picture of the grid on the inside of the reactor, um, just so you can see that I'm actually running with high voltage and everything into the chamber. Terrible picture, but uh, it looks brilliant from where, I'm, from where I can see. Um, and there's my deuterium bottle and supply into the chamber. And uh, we're already at 43 just in the past few seconds here. Um, the exterior of the chamber as, is at 130, so running fairly hot. Uh, we just got a few more neutrons, but um, this is just a really rough run, and um, I'm just improving from here. This is actually just with a mechanical pump right now and I'm going to have my turbo pump hook up uh, later this week. So thanks for watching. Bye.